<laughs> Here it is. I mean, it's pretty cool, but this is not what we were supposed to get. So as y'all may see, I got the Denali HD hooked up to the trailer. Um, guys got the water meter getting installed right now. So as soon as they're gonna get done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the uh, right on trencher and trench the water line coming down the road to the building. So I've actually never run a trencher uh, or a right on trencher. So that should be pretty interesting to see how that goes. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this picked up. Something that I did the other day, yesterday, as y'all, some of y'all have made seen in my story. I went ahead and changed out the the deal to panel. It's just a lot easier. And honestly, it's a lot more safe as well. So, gotta change over to panel. All the Gen Y hitches are, well, can have the panel attachment there. So if y'all ever need a Gen Y hitch, hit us up, give us a call. We're a dealer for them, and we'll get you a good price on them. But anyways, leave the skid here, go pick up the trencher. Oh man, I always see this guy at the store and stuff and I always forget his name, so I'm gonna go get his name. What's going on? Going to go get the trencher? That's where you gonna go come to. Okay. Pipe the red. All right. Okay. Yeah, man, you got water. You got a lot of pressure. Really? Good. Yeah. Where, where's the actual line at? Is it right about? Oh, right about there? Okay. Right All right, so that goes out to there, so I'm gonna need to yeah. go off like that. Yeah. Push this stuff around where I'm digging, I got a hand dig. Oh yeah, well, yeah. I hand dug down that gas line. Yeah. It's about two and a half foot deep. Two and a half foot deep for the gas line? Yeah. I think they told me it's like two to three foot yeah. deep for the gas line. So. Like the phone line? You couldn't even find it? <laughs> so, but I dug, so. Hopefully it's deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do I need to get a fitting of any sort? Or would y'all happen to have a fitting? I don't have one. What it's going to be. Well, you see, I noticed something. See, yeah. you, you wanted to get inch and a half line, right? I got inch and a half, inch and a half meter. But see, you have to. I, I, I gotta get a reducer. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what you're gonna need, you got it at Coburn's. Okay. It's a fitting. Yeah. It's gonna be male thread, male, male pipe thread, inch and a half. Okay. Two. two so, in, so that can go right there, right? Right. It's gonna okay. screw right there. That's where the male threaded. Right. Okay. So, inch it's and a half. Be inch and a half male pipe thread, two inch CTS. Okay. That's all you gotta tell them. All right. And that'll get you there. Yeah, that looks good to me. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, that's what I was thinking. And I'm gonna. I guess I can. I'm gonna just take it like that, all the way down. I don't have to worry about bends and 90s and 45. Looks good to me. All right, done got the trencher. And now we are creeping over there because we just went ahead and just put one chain on that thing. Let me get out of this guy's lane. All right, we're on our way. Going about a quarter mile. No, nah, maybe it's closer to half a mile. Uh, maybe it's a quarter mile. I think it's a quarter mile to this light, quarter mile to the shop. All right, we go pulling into the driveway for the shop. Nice and easy, nice and easy. There we go. I'm probably gonna pull off over there. Back out towards the highway this way. All right, that should do it. Put the e-brake on. I always put the e-brake on when I'm taking equipment on and off the deal. All right. Well, Trencher's doing pretty good. Pretty fun for the first time. It's really loud, but uh, that's kind of the trencher we got going. I think that'll be perfect for that two inch line going in there. I think that's about, eh, 
maybe three inches wide or so. That will be perfect. But uh, I got a call just now from Logistics. They got some tires they got to drop off that I got to get to a customer and a uh, set of tires for a uh, project coming up. Anyways, I'm going to go and grab the forks and put it on the skids here and get ready for them coming. Uh, I think they're here. Oh, he's right down the road. I can see him. All right, got the forks on. Here they come down the road. While they're getting down there, I'm going to get me a glass of water. So. Guys, dang, those things are big, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you mind if I get this one while you get the other one? Yeah. Alright, All right, here we go. These things are big. Let me know in the comments below what size you think these are. This is pallet number two. Shout out to Josh, second fill man. Alright, back to the trencher. Trying to get done with this as soon as I can so I can get it off rent. So, got the trencher loaded back up. Um, it's almost five o'clock, so I'm trying to get this thing back to the rental place. So this is all I got done. Got everything trenched from the meter all the way down to the corner. Oh yeah, this straight is a pencil, ain't it? And then all the way back up to the building. And you can't really see it there. There's a picket, but there's a meter box right there. So tomorrow, come back and put that line all the way down this way and then backfill everything. Y'all, I am so hot. The exhaust on the trencher comes right back at your face and your legs. So uh, I'm overheating. I need to get some water. Got to get to our sponsor team's last ball game. I'm going to see if I can make that. But anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all are enjoying some of these shop updates. Um, but I'm going to get going before I dehydrate and pass out. Later. <laughs>